Ringo Lam Ling Tung was a Hong Kong film director, producer, and screenwriter. Born in Hong Kong in 1955, Lam initially went to an acting school. After finding he preferred making films to acting, he went to Canada to study film. In 1983, he returned and began filming comedy films. After the commercial success of his film Aces Go Places for, he was allowed to develop his own film. Lam directed City on Fire in 1987, which led him to winning his first Hong Kong Film Award. Lam followed up City on Fire with other similar films that shared a dark view of Hong Kong society. Many of these films starred Chow Yun-fat. In 1996, Lam made his first American film, Maximum Risk starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. Lam would continue working on film productions in both Hong Kong and two more American productions with Jean-Claude Van Damme until 2003. Lam died at his home on December 29, 2018. Chow Yun-fat met Ringo Lam at the actor's training program. Chow has starred in many of Lam's films. Ringo Lam was born in British Hong Kong in December 8, 1955. Lam started his career by enrolling in the TVP actors training program in 1973. At the program, he met Chow Yun-fat with whom he would later collaborate with on several films. After taking a few acting roles, Lam went to Canada and studied film at York University in Toronto. Lam returned to Hong Kong in 1981. Lam's first four films were not written by him. Lam took over as director for Po Chi Leong after he had finished about one-third of the film Esprit d'Amour as the film's producer Carl Maka needed a cheap replacement and hired him. Lam explained that he had no choice, I need food, so I do the best I can, Lam received sole directing credit for the film. The film was released on December 15, 1983 in Hong Kong. Lam's next feature film was The Other Side of Gentlemen, which was released June 28, 1984 in Hong Kong. Lam followed this with the romantic comedy film Cupid 1 released 1985. The film grossed 6,382,935 Hong Kong dollars, which was less than his previous two films which both grossed over 10 million Hong Kong dollars. Lam's next film was the fourth film in the Aces Go Places film series, Aces Go Places 4. Lam stated in interviews that he directed the film as a favor to Karl Maka, who helped give Lam his start. The film was very successful at the box office grossing 27,012,748 Hong Kong dollars in Hong Kong. After Aces Go Places 4, Carl Maka allowed Lam to make whatever type of film he wanted. Lam's had two films released in 1987. One of which was the first of his on-fire films, City on Fire. The film is a gangster movie which was made in Hong Kong in the footsteps of A Better Tomorrow which reinvented the gangster film genre in Hong Kong. The film was released on February 13, 1987 and earned $19,723,505 in Hong Kong. Lam won the Award for Best Director Award at the 1987 Hong Kong Film Awards for City on Fire. Lam's next film that year was Prison on Fire which had a script that was written in 9 days while the film was shot in 20 days. In 1988, along with Karl Maka, Lam had a brief acting role in the film The Eighth Happiness. Lam then continued his On Fire series with School on Fire which was released in Hong Kong on August 20, 1988. School on Fire was edited with many scenes censored on its release in both Hong Kong and Taiwan. Lam's final film of the 1980s was Wild Search released in 1989. It grossed a total of 15,944,333 Hong Kong dollars in Hong Kong. Lam's first film of the 1990s was Undeclared War released in 1990. The film contained an international cast including Olivia Hussey, Peter Lapis, Danny Lee, and Vernon Wells. The film was not as popular as Lam's previous films in Hong Kong, grossing 5,523,958 Hong Kong dollars. Lam's next film Touch and Go was released on May 16, 1991 in Hong Kong. The film was a comedy starring Sammo Hung. Lam stated in interviews that Touch and Go was an assignment took for hire in order to keep himself in the film business. The film grossed less than undeclared war in Hong Kong. Lam released a second film in 1991 titled Prison on Fire 2. The film was very popular with Hong Kong audiences where it grossed $24,367,261. Lam's next film Twin Dragons had him partnered with Shui Hark as a director. According to Hark, Lam handled most of the action scenes in the film. Lam also briefly appears in the film as a car mechanic. Lam's next film Full Contact was released in Hong Kong on July 23, 1992. 
It grossed a total of 16,793,011 Hong Kong dollars. Lamb followed it up with Burning Paradise which differed from his previous films by being a period film featuring the Chinese folk hero Fong Sai Yuk opposed a film set in an urban environment. The film was poorly received at the box office in Hong Kong, being the 145th highest grossing film of the year. In 1995, Lam directed another period film set in 1975 starring Andy Lau titled The Adventurers. The film was shot partially in the Philippines and the United States and grossed 14,839,584 Hong Kong dollars in Hong Kong. In 1996, Lam made his American debut with the film Maximum Risk starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. The film was not a big draw at the box office. Lam returned to Hong Kong where he shot his next film Full Alert which was budgeted at $13 million. The film was shown at film festivals in 1997 including Rotterdam and Berlin. Full Alert was nominated for five awards at the Hong Kong Film Awards and won the award for Best Film and Best Actor at the Hong Kong Film Critics Society Awards. Lam followed up Full Alert the next year with The Suspect which was shot in the Philippines. The Suspect was not as financially successful as Full Alert, grossing around 10 million less. In 1998, Variety announced that Lam would direct the film Simon Says with Kevin Elders. Lam later only contributed to the film as a producer. Lam directed a Hong Kong production titled Victim. The film featured a supernatural storyline and had its ending changed on its Hong Kong theatrical release. Half of the release prints contained a scene stating whether or not the actor was possessed by a ghost. The other half of the movie reflected the original script and did not reveal this. Two of Lam's films directed in the 2000s starred actor Jean-Claude Van Damme in 2001, Lam's second US-based production replicant was released. The film was screened theatrically in France on July 11, 2001. The film was released direct-to-video in the United States. Lam's directed two more films in 2003, the Hong Kong production Looking for Mr. Perfect and the American direct-to-video release in Hell starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. Lam next took a break from filmmaking after finding dissatisfaction with the filming environment in Hong Kong after finding Mr. Perfect did poorly in the box office. Lam also stated that he wanted to spend more time with his family and above all, to observe people and learn more about them. I wanted to seek resources, material, and subjects that were worth making into films. In 2007, Lam co-directed a section of the portmanteau film triangle with Shui Hark and Johnny Too. Lam stated that his story in the film represented a metaphor of my attitude towards filmmaking, it is always a love-hate process. The film was screened out of competition at the Cannes Film Festival. In 2014, the Hong Kong newspaper Apple Daily reported that Lam would return to directing with a film with funding from May I Entertainment with a cast to include Daniel Wu and Sean Yue. The film began production in June 2014. The film marked Lam's first feature-length film in over a decade Lam's new film was titled Wild City. Lam stated that he returned to filming after his son had graduated from college and that he would like to make films that allow me to express myself. It's a device for me to unburden myself, to get things off my chest, and also a mirror to learn more about myself through the film I made. I don't make films for money anymore. Lam attended the New York Asian Film Festival in 2015 where he was a recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award. Lam's last film, Sky on Fire, was released in 2016. It is the last installment in his On Fire series. On December 29, 2018, Lam was confirmed dead at his Hong Kong residence at age 63, after his wife found him unresponsive in his bed. Lam had been working on a film eight and a half with Milky Way image with Anne Huey, John Woo, Shui Hark, Patrick Tam, Johnny Tu, Sammo Hung and Yuan Wuping. Each director was to create a segment based on Hong Kong history. The film's title changed to Septet. The story of Hong Kong without Wu's involvement and was originally set for a release at the 2020 Cannes Film Festival. The annual and highly anticipated Hong Kong International Film Festival was held for its 45th edition in April 2021. Lam is one of the six veteran Hong Kong filmmakers who directed renowned local director Johnny Decay Fung's highly anticipated anthology series, Septet, The Story of Hong Kong. The other filmmakers include Sammo Hung and Hwe An Hua, Patrick Tam Karming, Shui Hark, Yuan Wuping and Johnny Tu. The short files were shot entirely on 35mm film with each of them touches on a nostalgic and moving story set across different time periods, with every one acting as an ode to the city. Lam's first four films were comedies not written by Lam. 
When Lamb began to shoot the films he wanted to make after the success of Aces Go Places 4, he began his On Fire series. Lamb chose the English titles for these films stating that it gave them a sense of energy, of action. The film City on Fire, Prison on Fire and School on Fire do not share any characters or situations, but all have a common bleak view on Hong Kong society. In these films, Lamb looks at controversial issues such as street violence and the abuse of street, prison and school systems. Lamb rarely employed canto pop in his films. Lamb's films often have Western music, such as City on Fire, which features a blues-oriented saxophone score, and Full Contact, which uses American rock music. Thanks for watching.